And after a lot of painfully slow gluing, here is the white headliner. Uh, I didn't film like the, the whole process of gluing this because oh, it's not difficult, you know, you just you lay the material on top, um, you read the instructions on the glue that you're using and you know, first I folded this, I folded like the, the back over, spray the glue, fold it up, uh, use the same roller I used to install the uh, dynamat to um, make sure it's all contacting well and then I brought the material up from that side, flipped it over and again just you know about a foot at a time or about 30 centimeters at a time for my fellow educated followers so you know about a foot or 30 centimeters at a time just you know keep rolling the thing out make sure to get everything make sure you know every time you do a section just peel up the edges and make sure that everything's stuck together properly and then yeah eventually you'll come here and you just have to be careful around the edge over here make sure to leave some slack and uh, you know roll out roll it in so that uh, it's nice and contacted properly so you get the edge nicely then just put the metal trim uh, well the metal rings back in for the dome lights and yeah ready I'm gonna put this back in the car I'm not gonna film all that I'm just gonna take snapshots and short videos while I'm doing all of it so a bit of a work in progress but um, I really love how it looks uh, that black spot is a shadow because of the trim here, so don't think that that's not a dirty spot. Don't worry about that. But yeah, no, this looks great. I mean, I'm really happy that it's white. It doesn't bother me at all that it sort of ends weirdly there. I find it actually looks kind of cool. Um, I've got it set up on this side with the B pillar, so that's what it looks like. That's my little headlamp, so you can see where I'm looking. Uh, but yeah, I find it looks pretty cool, you know. It's, I don't know. I guess it's a little odd, but eh, whatever. I mean, I like the white headliner. It makes the inside of the car look a bit better. If it was dark, I don't know, I find it would be just, with everything else being black, I find that a black headliner would be too dark. I should have gone for light silver because it did get dirty on some spots, but eventually, you know, I could just, I can just clean that up. Um, couple notes, uh, when you're putting the B-pillar trim back on, what ends up happening is uh, the, the clips that hold it on, they become, they, they spread open a little bit. So when you try to put it back in, it doesn't clip. So just take some pliers and just, you know, respringify the clips by tightening them together. Um, and one thing that I forgot was there's a, there's a little clip holding the uh, the top of the headliner here at the dome light and I was I was looking for it everywhere you know I'm like crap there's something missing turns out that it is the the black clip that's here that's what goes on anyway I just forgot that it was a black clip I thought there was a second piece but there wasn't so you just have to make sure that it's folded back over and it catches on the little lip here it's got like two prongs let's see if I can zoom in on that a little bit uh, hard to see I know Maybe if I take my flashlight off. Yeah, so it basically has two clips. You gotta make sure that the, well, the clip folds over and it's got like three prongs. Two of the prongs have to go below the lip and one has to go above. And then this holds on to the top of the headliner at the back. But yeah, cool progress. I like how it looks. So just a quick little test, uh, since I, don't ha I didn't buy um, a new trunk light to put there, I just plugged in the rear dome light temporarily just to test my wiring. So let's give it a shot. I, have, I wired in a switch back here to turn off the lights if I ever need to. So we see that this one works and, well, <laughs> it's hard to see because, wait a minute. Uh, there you go. So this one works too, that one works. White balance is a little bit off. Let's see if I can change that. I can't change it while, while I'm filming, so pop And play. So yeah, I changed the white balance, and uh, yeah, so this light works. This light works too, which is great. And if I close the trunk, simulated closing of the trunk by pressing on the switch, turns off, turns back on. And now with the switch that I wired in, turns off, turns back on. Great, so now I have two trunk lights. Just gotta buy a light and yeah, install it. And the headliner is completed. <coughs> Let's try that one again. <laughs> um, 
And the headliner's completed, so uh, yeah, I love how it looks. It looks great. Very happy with the result. No more sagging, no more sagging, which is wonderful. Uh, a little bit dirty, but I mean, you know, it's a white headliner. What are you going to do? Um, I'm probably going to clean it at some point. Uh, looks good. Not too many creases and wrinkles. So, you know, it was a first attempt. I'd say that's pretty good. Um, the um, the black pillars that just end randomly, they look a little bit weird, but whatever. Not so bad. Uh, in the back, it looks great, especially with the C pillars there. You can still see like where the old black band used to be, which I didn't bother redoing because it'd be too hard. But yeah, I mean, I'm happy how it uh, turned out, so no complaints there. Um, obviously, the sun visors still look ugly and weird, so I might change them one day. I'm thinking of using black material for them, since I have these black sort of, I guess accents you would call them now that's how it looks like i don't know i think black sun visors on top of a white headliner that look pretty nice anyway i'm gonna see about that some other time don't feel like doing it now um so yeah in other news there is gonna be more content coming to the channel soon let me spin that around there you go so yeah, there's gonna be more content coming to the channel soon i want to try something new little bit less technical, a little bit more uh, entertainment. Obviously about cars, this is Pat's car garage, not Pat's life garage. So yeah, expect more cool stuff in the future. See you soon.